Hi everyone, it's Bill Goss here from Elite Publishing Academy and in this video it's all about how and why you should self-publish your book. Self-publishing a book has never been a more attractive option for business owners looking to grow their bottom line and also individuals looking to achieve um, side hustle or financial independence. So in this video I will walk you through step by step the process to successfully self-publish a book um, that I've helped use and, and the processes used for the thousands of authors that we've helped over the last 10 years. Number one, why self-publish? So publishing a book um, is an attractive option for a number of reasons. And number one, publishing a book establishes you as an authority within your field and, in, and your niche. Uh, number two, a book has a global reach. Three, being a published author gives you a competitive advantage. Number four, it helps you stand out amongst the digital overload people experience everywhere they go nowadays. Number five, it's incredibly effective when used with a targeted promotional campaign. Uh, six, the barriers are, of entry are lower than ever before. So why um, are in the age of publishing 3.0, which it is now, with so many talented publishers, designers, and marketers selling their services at, at small business prices? So number two, what you think about is what's your why? And listen, I know uh, we hear a lot from all the mush gurus out there, but it is quite important. The first thing you, you need to figure out is why do you want to self-publish this book? Uh, number three, what is your objective? Uh, here are some kind of common reasons uh, that I hear all the time for self-publishing a book and, and the reasons why you should. It should establish yourself as an authority expert within your field. It will give yourself a competitive advantage and stand out from other businesses out there. It raises awareness um, of your business. My favorite, um, it helps you generate more leads and revenue for your business. Um, it also demonstrates uh, your thought leadership. It, um, it, it can also turn into kind of a full-time income for you as a full-time writer. But more importantly, if you're thinking of a business approach, it helps you land speaking engagements, helps you build a career as a kind of a speaker, and uh, it helps you do workshops, webinars also. It helps you also to prove um, that your knowledge is worth something as well. So once you've figured out your why, you can focus on the rest. And what I would say is just start writing. You know, I get asked all the time, how long do you think it takes to write my book? Well, I don't know, a week, a month? A year, 10 years, I, I, I don't know. The simple answer is it's up to you. Um, a typical book is between, uh, say, 20 to 80,000 words long, uh, but don't get too, too head up on that. So if we just do some simple math now, if you write 500 words a day for seven days a week, uh, you can write your first book within one and a half months, just within six weeks. But if you average 1,500 words a day, seven days a week, then you can write your first book in two weeks. So it might seem a lot, but it, it basically isn't really. Um, yeah, a lot of people say writing is, is, is a lot like a muscle, but you can also transcribe it nowadays. You can do what I do, talk and transcribe it. But going back to writing, it may hurt the first few times, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. If you write every day, um, you will kind of grow that writing muscle and it becomes faster and more efficient. Uh, number four that I want to cover is title sell books. So have you ever bought a book with a lousy title? No, I haven't either, so I didn't think so. So coming up with a catchy title, uh, though, is one of the most important parts of the self-publishing process. Uh, making sure it's a catchy and relevant title is even harder because you don't want to oversell your book uh, with kind of a clickbaity title that basically doesn't deliver the goods or you might risk bad reviews if the content doesn't live up to the hype. Um, so, and also, you know, if, if the title is a little bit disingenuous, it kind of, you know, knocks you down a peg or two really there. So take time to brainstorm, research the title, uh, run them over with a few kind of an editor, small group of friends, business colleagues, etc. There's a great tool called sumo.com that you can get off. So go back to titles, have you heard of Tim Ferriss? Um, Tim wrote the book The 4 Hour Work Week and it's a great catchy title. Uh, Tim's book got uh, untold people interested in being self-employed and building their dream life with The 4 Hour Work Week. Not only is the title catchy, but it's congruent as well with the content within the book as well. So it basically, that means it's not just clickbait. Um, it, you know, it actually helps people out. Number five, covers make people read the title. So having a catchy title is one thing, but if the front cover is poorly designed, Will your readers even get to uh, you know get to the title, let alone the book? The cover of your book is what catches people's eyes and highlights that that title you spent so long creating. So the question you might ask is, what makes a killer cover? Well, if you look at some of the Amazon best-selling business books. Um, 
have a look at what books catch your eye. So for me, um, the books that stand out are things such as uh, Start With Why, The Intelligent Investor, Rich Dad Poor Dad, the you know, list goes on and on and on. And these books um, stand out for me because the title is crystal clear and it kind of catches my eye. I can easily figure out what the book is about because the design of the cover highlights the title and makes it super easy to read, especially for someone like me. So let's look a bit closer and break down why these designs work. Um, if you look at these designs online, the title is big, it's bold, it's easy to read. The covers are either use white space um, or color text or with a bright background and contrasting text. So one thing you'll learn about design is that less is more. Um, so, you know, why do you think Apple are so successful? They've, they've understood throughout the years that less is more better than anybody. So if you strip away all the junk and focus on making your product beautiful and simple, it will help you sell on the products uh, thereafter. How to create a cover? Well, look, there's two, two or three ways of doing it. There's some pretty good free tools out there now if you want to take the DIY approach. Um, Canva's really good and it comes well recommended. We use it. Or you can look at um, a, you know, an online freelancer as well. However, as uh, Jane Dorsher, the best-selling investor and self-published author advises, publishing in 3.0 is the route to take if you want your book to make you money. So. What it, what it basically means is where you can self-publish better, more successfully, better edited, uh, better designed, better marketed, and make more money than uh, if you go down another route. The reason uh, this is possible only now is because for the first time, the best editors, designers, marketers, you know, we're no longer working for the big publishing houses. But we're striking out alone and independently charging for our own services. So the demand is there. The route may be more expensive than, say, publishing 2.0, but you get a much better result and it's more lucrative. So if you want a good cover, hire a self-publisher like myself or a designer. Um, and then we move on to number eight now, which is edit it, edit it, edit it, edit it, and then edit those edits. A good editor could be the difference between chicken shit and chicken salad, and that's quite literally. Um, Again, from uh, James Altucher, uh, he says that when he wrote the book that Niels and I went back and forth for more than 15 different rewrites for the book. The difference between the original version and the final version is like the difference between chicken shit and chicken salad. Um, so the quality of your editing ultimately determines the quality of your book. Uh, number nine, look at the best-selling authors out there. Look at the ones that you strive towards. Um, all of them um, have had high quality editors to help them hone, refine and polish their books. The big thing for me, number 10, is build a platform. You should be building a platform now for your book and by building a platform is how you sell your book. Uh, the platform allows you to build a list of customers, prospects, um, where you can then market and promote your book to. Uh, you should be rebuilding your platform even before you write a line of your book. So if you're really, you know, if you're really clever, you could uh, take a lean startup approach and generate hype for your book without picking up a pen. Of course, you know, you've got to be marketing savvy, but that's what I would strongly recommend. Finally, promoting your book. It won't matter if your book is amazing if no one hears about it. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to uh, book a 15 minute chat with either myself or one of my consultants at elitepublishingacademy.com.